Yo, it's good guys. Today is another M5 video. So I'll be fitting a aloe radiator. Well, I bought a new aloe radiator for this because I've got a stock standard radiator and I don't know how long it's been on there and it looks quite janky. Looks like it's primed to blow. Well, it's gone black and it's gone kind of yellow or whatnot and I don't really want it to blow when I'm boosting about. see on a stock radiator. I've seen people run turbo and still, still run stock radiator but as I'll be aiming for about 250 I don't really want it to blow plus it keeps it keeps my car running cool and everything as well. Yeah I'm gonna start off by jacking the car up a little bit taking all the coolant out and I'll show you what to do and where to go. But yeah I'll start off by So the cool guess I'll probably just start off by don't really know how to do this. No. Probably just unclip the fan. I'm working this 13mm here, 30mm here, lift it up, and it's all polo. This one now, this one out, and there's just one down there. UB clip for the hose. Just connect to these two hoses. Take that one out. Got this off now. Probably have to reuse bushings. Reusing the fan. Have one on the switch. I'm on running normally. Stick with the car. Right here, the eBay Johnny. Pick this up. Hope for a good deal. Brand new. Both them bolts out. Rusted on. I thought I'd be smart and try to wiggle it. Pop that out another day. But yeah, straight away you can see side by side this one's really a lot thicker. This one's probably only about 20 mil thick. Put next to each other. But you can see that's a lot thicker. Do the job nicely. Figure out how to get that on there. I ended up just bolting that on there. I'll order a slimline fan. Fuck it, I can't say the word. Slimline fan at some point. Looks better than that. But yeah, straight out of the bat. Looking good, looking polo. I get that straight into the car, into our first eBay special problem. Yeah. See that through. I'll take it to the machine shop and get in the groove, put a groove up there. Keep it moving. I'm gonna measure that measure how thick that is. Lay in there. So it fits another bit. I'm now off to the machine shop, see if I can get these all sorted. Also fitted the bushings from the top, they fit in alright, put it straight in. Put the e-clips on, and get that in there. In there. Makes such a difference in anything, mate. Makes it look so much better. Get rid of that shit. Yeah. And the other one. Yeah. We might need to put everything back in. Put the pipes back together. Put it up with some coolant. Gucci. So that's basically everything done. I've got a radiator and a radiator all in. Oh. Doesn't the fan doesn't look too bad. So I might just get away with that. Yeah, that's it. We sit straight in. Next thing I really need to do is wrap the log manifold. Maybe get a tow blanket. Hopefully you should see it cool. Before, when I was running the stock manifold, no not manifold, radiator, I was seeing about 97 on my gauge, my digital gauge, but now hopefully it should drop. Let's see anyway. Okay. Thanks for watching.
thanks for watching like share and subscribe